What's up with it, y'all? It's Jay Willis TV, and I'm back with another banger. Check it out, man. Before we get started, I really need to say something. Look, this video ain't to be disrespectful. It's basically me learning and y'all learning. I mean, no disrespect by it. I know how YouTube get down. And uh, look, I'm going to gain some followers, and I might lose some followers. But it's only to help your boy. All right, let's get into it. Now, I'm going to take y'all to where this first started and let y'all kind of understand why I'm bringing this topic up. I'm at my boy house, and y'all know, man, when I ain't at work or I ain't making videos for YouTube, I'm playing my game, you feel me? So I'm at my boy house. I ain't going to say his name. I already got permission from him to bring this discussion up. I'm just going to leave names out of it. So I'm at my pot now. So I'm going I'm to say Drew. Me and Drew in there playing Madden, right? He just got the new Madden. So I go over there. We chilling. We playing. And uh, he turns. I'm, I'm, I'm ear hustling. He got three kids, right? He got three kids. I'm down. Dumb man. I can't even count. Look, I'm like, he got three kids, right? And uh, he they range from 10 to 13, right? And they're in the room. And they talking about sexuality. Now, me being a parent, I get his attention like, hey. So he turned the TV down a little bit. Because you know if you turn it all the way, kids going to hear that the TV being turned down. They going to tone, tone it down. But they in there doing their thing, you know, probably on their phones, on TikTok. And I'm listening to them talk. We're listening to them. And the little boy, I think he's like maybe 11, 10, 11. He's like a... Uh, I think I'm trans, transsexual. Yeah, tra I think I'm a transgender is what he said. And the girl said, the daughter said, you can't be transgender. He said, why? I can't be a transgender. She said, because you're not transitioning. He said, yeah, I am. She said, how? He said, I don't know, but I will. And my boy was like, what the? And I'm like, bruh. The girl, the oldest, who's like 12 or 13, she like, I'm a pansexual <laughs> and I'm not laughing, but we, I giggled and he got angry because he turned, all right, so let me tell you, he light skinned, right? And he turned red, red as a red pepper. So I knew he was hot, but I kind of giggled. So I'm like, what the heck is that? I instantly take out my phone and get to Googling, come to find out, what was it? I think it was like a person who don't see like who will date any gender. It's basically a person who will date any gender. Doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, man, woman, her man. I, look, I don't know. I don't. I'm not being disrespectful. I don't know. And this is where I need people in the comment section to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I didn't do any research on this. It's just my story. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of don't want to do no research on it. I'm going to get into that in a minute. But I, we're listening to them for a good 20 minutes before he jumped off the chair and ran in there. And and, and, and y'all know what happened next. But uh, come to find out, the schools are teaching this to the kids. They're openly, like, telling the kids about this information without parents' consent. Now... My question to y'all, my viewers, are would you guys allow an elementary school to teach your kids this? I know we're in 2022. Things are changing. But would you guys really allow the schools to teach y'all kids this? Me personally, I wouldn't. And if I ever find out, it's a problem. Because I feel, I don't feel a nine-year-old kid should know or should even, <laughs> look, look, I have nothing against women who want to be men or men who want to be women or women who date women or men who date men. I have no problem with people who don't identify as nothing. I mean, 2022, 2020 
and up has given people the option to be whoever they want to be, be free, be open. And I think that's a good thing because when I apply for stuff, I don't even put, you know, my, I put, when they say African American or black, sometimes I put other, sometimes I put choose not to answer. And that's because I don't have to identify as anything nowadays. I can say I'm an alien. And y'all got to look at me as an alien. Like, serious. That's just, I worked at a job. And it was at a homeless shelter. And I was doing the, uh, I was a operations specialist there. And there would be guys that come in who, honestly, you, you ask them the name. They say their name is Alice. You have to call them Alice or you will have a lawsuit or I don't know if you have a lawsuit. I don't know, but it was like, if you don't, you get fired type deal. So I followed the rules, but it, it, it took everything in me to see this big buff man call and calling him Alice. Like I wasn't feeling that, but now, like I said, I have nothing against nobody. I know what I like. I love women, I have a wife. Um, I enjoy what I do. Uh, I enjoy what we do. To each its own. But would you guys let y'all kid learn about that at eight, nine, ten? At what age do you guys feel it's okay for your kid to know about such a thing leave it in the comment section below let me know man like i don't know man am i am i am i you know thinking too hard on it or is this normal for elementary school teachers to to teach this stuff like i don't know let me know. Like, my kids ain't in the, ain't old enough yet. So, I'm kind of, like, not against homeschool, but I'm for it at the same time. I'm not against it, but I am for it in certain situations. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know this quick story, man, because it just happened today. Um, and I'm still, you know, blinded and lost for words because... He calling me and texting me like, what should I do? And I don't have the answers for him. He's a single parent. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have the answers for bro. Um, but maybe you guys can help me out, man. Give me some information on how to go about the situation. Because bro ready to go up to the school and get himself locked up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know... With Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, all these different outlets, kids are exposed to a lot of stuff. Back when I was growing up, I was born in 1986, you feel me? When I was a kid in the 90s, we had to be outside playing. It wasn't no internet. We, we, well, I mean, I had a Sega. I had a PS1. I had a Dreamcast. My brother had the little box thing, um, the Sega Genesis. See, we could play all those when we came in, you know what I'm saying? Then we could play on there for about an hour, then it was shower time in bed. But we didn't have all this free time kids have today. Kids spend about roughly eight hours on the phone. Roughly eight hours, and that's on the low end. They don't even go outside no more. Like, it's sad. But I get it, times are changing. Now, if I allow my kids to be homeschooled, then they're missing out on life. They're, I, f I feel like when kids go to school, they can interact with other kids. They can learn from other kids. And it can be good or bad, but they it's up to them. They can learn, they can make that decision. When they're homeschooled, they don't have those outlets. They don't have, you know, nobody else to talk to, nobody to laugh with. 
Um, they don't have no school basketball games or football games or going to prom. They don't have that. So it's like, uh, damn if you do, damn if you don't. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section, man. Like I said, I might lose some followers, but I hope I gain a lot. Like I said, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just trying to learn. And it's all for my boy, man. Like, like y'all know what it is with me over here. Like, it is, you feel me? <laughs> but, yeah, man, like, help me help this dude out. You feel me? This is J Realist TV, man. And like I always say, I'm out.